What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bill. This is Matt and this is the Tat Squatch. Now today we have an interesting issue with the Bronco. If you're not familiar with it, he is running 40 inch Mickey Thompson's. Uh, they are big, heavy wheels with spacers with spacers and they uh he does off-road this thing so there is a bit of extra stress on the components and well you want to give it a quick shake there a demonstration yeah it's not supposed to do that now it was discovered because he got an alignment the wheel you could see like the tread was wearing off on the inside of the tire pretty bad so he went took it to get an alignment they sat there and they struggled with it all day long, finally got it in, then went to do a tire rotation and then realized, oh, hey, this is off. Most stores don't have these parts outside of Ford. However, Rock Auto uh, did have them. And uh, we are going to go ahead and try to attempt to swap that out. Probably not the way he went. We are going to go ahead and swap that out. <laughs> We'll sound confident about it for Matt's sake, but yeah, no, uh, there's no uh, how-to videos or instructions anywhere online because, well, as I said, most places don't even carry them. Most Broncos are not having to replace uh, wheel hubs yet, but this is two that I personally know of within the last week, and I imagine uh, as these age, especially with big wheels and tires on them and people off-roading them these are going to start wearing for people a lot more often so hopefully we can get this changed out and show you guys how it's done but first things first we have to get this big old heavy tire off of there so let's do that and then we'll take a closer look so we got the wheel off and the hub is what we need to change so we're going to have to remove this bolt, remove the caliper, and then the four bolts along the back side. And we should be able to pull the hub off. So here, 18. So there's two 18 millimeter bolts to pull the whole caliper off. It's got a strap to hold the uh, caliper up and out of the way. Oh, rotor's a little warm. Yeah, you see they had a little bit of red Loctite on them. Oh, and there was the rock. Well, you see a groove in his rotor. He's, we said, oh, there's probably a little rock in there or something. As soon as we pulled that off, I heard a little rock fall out of there. So just hanging that up out of the way so it's not hanging by the actual uh, brake line. The, the four bolts on the back are also a 19. I'm going to need a short one. Now, it'd be easier to turn the wheels and get better access back here if you're hard, having a hard time reaching these bolts. But I think you'll be all right. And those are the bolts, longer bolts that are going to be holding that on. And this one, I can't. might be able to get to it with the short one. If not, we'll have to turn the wheel and if this short socket will fit in there. Yes, it will. Perfect. We need to knock this axle in. I'm going to use a punch and do that. I don't want to just hit the axle directly so you don't want to mess this up to where we won't be able to get the nut back in there. So. Not able to push the axle back any further because of the flex. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the upper control arm. Before I do that, I want to 
remove this bolt here so this cable move a bit freer. Don't take that bolt all the way off yet. So you if you have that bolt all the way off and you bang that and it separates, that's just going to spring apart. So now you can control it a bit better. Now we know it is not the axle that's holding anything on there. All right, that rotor did not want to let go, but it finally did. So now we are just down to the hub. And at least now I can take this off and we can beat this hub because we don't need to try to retain anything with this hub we're replacing the whole thing so we can beat this but i'm going to go ahead and take this guard off now uh, yeah these are just eight millimeters and really you don't have to take these off uh, but they're also very easy to bend out of shape and then once they're bent start rubbing up against things when you put everything back together and chasing sounds so it's easier for me just go ahead and take these off let's there we go that's coming apart And there we go. Old wheel bearing without. Mm. Yes, yeah, that that's not what a bearing should sound like. You don't hear anything because it's nice and greased and not damaged. So that's what you want. To put everything back together, it's just reversed. Oh. But you see the holes, this only go on there one way, to line up one way. Do we need any lock tie on those? Uh, no, nah, these didn't have lock tight. We'll get these bolts started and snugged. And then just kind of go, just like when you're putting anything out, uh, like lug nuts or anything. Go catty corner to kind of pull everything tight so we're not pulling it in crooked and a couple of turns on each one go all the way around until it's pulled all the way snug and then we'll look up what the torque specs are for this if we can find them because like i said there's not a whole lot of information for changing these out available but we'll do our best so go ahead and start reassembling uh, I just have these, oops, just have these bolts snugged for now. Uh, once it, I don't want to try torquing that with everything loose and uh, messing things up. So go ahead and reassemble this. So this will get torqued to 46. We don't know 100% what the torque is. Rare. The closest I found was F-150, which is 129. I know the lug nuts are 100, so I think anything over 100 will be good. So I'll probably torque it to like 120 just to be safe. And those should be good. All right, so it's off. It is actually 221, not 250, but I...
Ah, I'm scared. Uh, they're not bad. They're not, I mean, they're probably about halfway worn down and they could be replaced. The, uh, I'd recently changed mine out and was surprised by how much more worn the rears were than the front. So I would imagine your rears are probably pretty close to being toast. Well, 70, over 71,000 miles. Yeah, which is twice what I had on mine when I changed mine. Factory with 40s. Yeah. <laughs> so there's caliper bolts, got torqued to 148. Next, we'll go ahead and put his wheel hub on there. These just get. Or the spacer. Spacer. <laughs> And those will just get torqued to 100 foot-pounds, just like the uh, the lug nuts. All right, since this is a big old heavy tire, use the Go-Jack. You're supposed to use like four of these and put it on your car so you can move your car around in a garage or whatever. But if you just have one, it turns out it makes a great wheel dolly for moving and lining up really big, heavy. <laughs> and voila, wheel is on without hurting ourselves. All right, so wheels back on. It is uh, not moving at all. So I'm going to put it back down on the ground. And there we go. So we'll go for a ride, make sure everything feels good, nice and tight. But that is how you change out the wheel hub on a 21 and up Ford Bronco. All right, so I just went for a quick run, ride around. Everything feels good so far. Feel yeah, good to you? Please. Yeah. So hopefully that's uh, the end of the problems. Well, I'm sure there'll be more eventually. But yeah, it comes with the territory, running big, heavy tires, especially with uh, extenders. Uh, spacers. Spacers. Running big, heavy tires with spacers on there. You're putting extra uh, wear and tear on your wheel hub. So still did pretty good for the stock one you went over what just 70,000 I think 71,000 I said it's uh those aren't all easy miles either put it through the paces so yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the thumbs up button be sure to check out Matt at tat oh the windows aren't there for me to point to but it's tat underscore squatch or tattoo matt 71 on Instagram and here on the channel. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.